how am I how do I start these? What is up guys? Today we are talking about how to cut somebody out in Photoshop. Yes! Three ways. Let's go. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're talking about how to cut somebody out in Photoshop. I'm going to give you guys three ways to do it. Three of them are kind of different ways, obviously. I'm gonna open up this photo of Chris that I took in Toronto. I've been using a lot of these Toronto photos lately. This photo is actually a little more complex, so I'm actually gonna use all three techniques in this photo. First one is the pen tool for more intricate work, the quick selection tool for selecting things like skin tones. I find that really good if you're doing skin smoothing in Photoshop, or if you have like one color against a completely different color, that one works really well. And then the brush tool. That one's kind of for quick and dirty stuff, and I use it a lot for cleaning up masks. If you guys don't already know how to make a layer mask, I see just you pause this video for a second and go check out the layer mask tutorial it is linked up here check it out and then come back and watch this one okay so I've got this photo of Chris opened up in Photoshop I'm gonna cut him out but I'm going to put kind of like a design or a color behind him so this works really well for you know thumbnails graphic design work I'm gonna zoom right in on the bottom corner of his jacket and I'm gonna use the pen tool to start cutting him out so again this is for more intricate work I'm gonna go P on my keyboard to get the pen tool up and then I'm just going to follow along the line of his jacket so if I click and I hold and drag my mouse, you can kind of see the line curving to that jacket. So that's how you're going to make those kind of curves. You see the handles that are kind of sticking off the dot. You can use those to kind of adjust your line by using the white arrow that's A on your keyboard. And you can kind of pull them in either direction. You can see how the curve changes as I pull those handles out. If you don't want the handles at all, click option, click on the original point and it gets rid of the handles. You can continue making your points. So fast forward through this real quick. I'm going to roughly cut around his hair and I'm going to show you guys the quick selection tool in a minute for the hair. But sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get that looking good. In this tutorial, the mask is going to be a little bit rough because I don't have a couple hours just to sit down and intricately do this so it looks perfect. And take your time and just be precise with it. So once you get to the end of your selection, you're going to want to connect your point to your very starting point. So I've come all the way down to the bottom of this jacket on the left side. I'm going to scroll all the way over to my first point on the right and I'm going to just mouse my pen tool over it. You'll see a little O come up. That means it's going to close the path and click that you've got a closed path then I'm gonna come up to the top hit shape that's gonna give me a shape layer I like to keep my shape layers in my layers palette just in case I want to go back I've been burned in the past where I've accidentally flattened layers or I've deleted shit but you don't have to do it if you don't want to I'm just like super anal I don't want to get burned okay I've got my shape made over my photo so I'm going to just mouse over and you see a little box comes up over the finger I'm gonna hold command and I'm gonna click on that it's gonna make a selection I'm gonna come up here to select modify feather and that's just gonna feather the selection ever so slightly so it's not like a harsh cut off line the key to making like a good clean layer mask is to have it match the softness of the shots if you got a bit of depth of field here on the shoulder and it's a little bit blurry but then you cut it off directly it's gonna look really fake the point is to make it look believable so you're gonna want to feather it according to the depth of field of the image I'm gonna go layer mask reveal selection that is going to reveal what I've cut out. I forgot to duplicate my base layer, <laughs> my bad. Well, let's do that now. So I'm going to just take this layer where I've made the layer mask, I'm gonna drag it down to the new layer, I'm gonna delete that layer mask, and then I'm gonna send that to the back. So now I have a clean layer on the back that I can use in case I shag something up. So now we're gonna use the quick selection tool. This is the second way you can make a layer mask. You can use this instead of using the pen tool, you can use it in addition to the pen tool. I kind of use all three techniques when I'm making layer masks just to make sure that it looks it's best. Let's come up to the hair. It's very messy. So I'm just going to come over to my quick selection tool. I'm just going to start selecting the hair and you can see it's kind of just picking the brown parts of the hair. Uh, it's a little bit messy. We're going to have to go in and clean it up a little bit later, but it does a pretty good job. If it accidentally selects something you don't want, you can just hold option on your keyboard and then as you're kind of painting around it, it will take away some of that selection. So if I Q on my keyboard, it shows the quick mask. Anything red is what's going to be kind of cut out. And so we can see it's a little bit jaggy. So we're going to want to feather this selection probably gonna want to clean it up a little bit later as well okay, so once we are happy with that we're gonna come down to modify we're gonna go feather just like we did yeah. before go one I'm gonna turn off the background layer click on my layer mask here I'm gonna zoom out so I can see it and then I'm gonna use my brush tool and I'm gonna just start painting around the edges if you start painting and it starts taking away the stuff inside the selection you can go command shift I that inverts the selection and then you'll be able to paint outside the selection. So as you can see, that does a pretty good job of selecting the hair from the background. We've got some little flyaway pieces. We'll go in and 
with a brush tool later and just do kind of like a dirty little mask. If this was for a client or a real job, I would be very careful to make sure that it looked perfect for now. I just wanna show you guys how to do it. You can play with the opacity of your brush as you go in and take away, so it like, it's just kind of like a light effect. You don't want it to be super harsh so it looks really bad. Then you're just gonna kind of select a couple little pieces in here just to kind of take away the background. Again, like I said, if this was for a client, I'd be way more careful. I'd make sure this looks perfect. But for time's sake, we don't want this video to be like 18 hours long, so it looks rough. You gotta go in where his glasses are. We're just gonna take away that pretty roughly with the brush tool. So that's the third way you can do a layer mask. Quick and dirty, using the brush tool, same thing, select the layer mask. Using your black or your white brush, you can take away or put back parts of the image. So it's lossless. You don't have to worry about erasing things like you would with the erase tools. Key, when you're making layer masks, make sure you check all of the little holes. So whether it's the glasses, there might be a little hole around the arm, in the fingers, in between the legs. You wanna make sure, if you're gonna take out the background, you make sure you take out all of the background. We've all seen those Photoshop fails on the internet, people's legs missing, or you know, there's like a weird shape. You can see like, oh, they obviously shot this somewhere else and the rest of the background is like black. So the battery's gonna die. I had to take the whole camera off because my tripod has this little stick out thing right in front of the battery thing. Anyway, three ways to cut somebody out in Photoshop. Pen tool, quick selection tool, brush tool. You can use one, all, depending on what you're cutting out, what you're doing. Again, like I mentioned, this is really cool for you know graphic design work or if you're doing thumbnails, you wanna put emphasis on part of a photo. You can kind of use this technique where you cut around the person, make a colored background, you can put a pattern back there. It's a lot of fun, so you can play with it. it also works really well if you're shooting somebody in a studio against a plain background. Maybe you wanna blow that background out white or maybe you wanna change the color or maybe your background isn't quite large enough and you wanna to add to it. You can use all of the techniques in this video to do things like that. If you're doing like billboards for clients or you're doing posters, even like Facebook graphics for like advertising, this kind of makes things a little more interesting. Make things, it makes things more interesting. So this is kind of like a photography slash graphic design slash whatever tutorial, but if you are doing something for a client that is going to get printed, I suggest you be very careful with your layer mask and, and very much zoom in and make sure that it's perfect. You print it off, have a look at it, because there's nothing worse than seeing a terrible layer mask. These are the little tricks that I use in Photoshop to cut people out. Other people probably do it a lot differently. I'm sure there are better ways to cut out people's hair. That is how I've done it. I'm kind of self-taught in Photoshop. Yeah, I'm sure there's better ways to do it, but that's how I do it. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We'll see you in the next one. I really like the arms of this jacket. Like it makes me feel like, a, like a, I'm wearing like a wingsuit. Ah, she's thirsty. Thirsty. <laughs> I gotta get some food. I'm hungry, bye.